If there is a manufacturer that has taken the SUV trend in the Indian market to new heights, it would have to be Hyundai. They are one of the largest manufacturers of SUVs in the market. They sell the Cretas and the venues by the bucket loads. But one of the most underestimated products over the years has been the Tucson. I've been a fan of the Tucson and Hyundai is looking to change that perception of the Tucson with the new car. This is a car that's longer, wider, bigger than the older car. It's better equipped, has diesel and petrol options. So does it have the potential to change the perception of the Tucson in the Indian customer's market? Well, we are driving it today in beautiful Bangalore to find out. In the fourth generation Tucson, the biggest change that Hyundai has made has to be the design language. Earlier Tucsons were, let's say, conservative. They were traditional SUVs that looked like traditional SUVs. But with this Tucson, Hyundai is looking to rewrite all those rules. So what you get is a very unique headlight structure, LED headlights that are defined over two levels. Uh, it, it's a very interesting looking thing. It's a very unique looking thing. You also get this black chrome grille. Uh, and interestingly, normally you would see the Hyundai logo in chrome for, to make it stand out, but they've made it a part of the whole grill. Uh, I have to say it does give it a very distinct visual identity. On the sides, it gets even more different. Even on the bonnet, you can see there are multiple character lines running. On the sides, you can see the front fenders are sort of bloated, pulled out. So are the rear fenders, you get these edgy lines, you get a lot of plastic, black plastic cladding to give it that SUV look. Chrome use is very restrained and I quite like the fact that it's this brushed chrome which looks quite good. And uh, while the overall stance is quite balanced, the 18-inch wheels help here and I quite like the big tail light here, uh, which is a full width tail light. But I think this is going to be a polarizing thing. The Tucson looks distinct. Does it look beautiful? I'm not sure. It has a lot of striking design elements and you will not mistake it for anything else. But whether customers will think it's a great looking car, that's something we'll have to wait and find out to see customer reactions. But yes, it does have a very unique identity. It does have quite a good presence on the road. While the exterior design has seen major changes and it looks nothing like the old Tucson, similarly, the interior has also gone through a thorough transformation. This is the extended wheelbase version. Internationally, there's also a short wheelbase version. But this is the bigger version. There's lots of room inside the car. And you also now get a two-tone interior. The earlier Tucson was of all black interior, which I love. But the two-tone is also really nice and striking you get uh, these cloth inserts are unique that's something you don't find usually so that's the detailing on the dashboard you also get this vent spread all across you in fact it has that boat effect with the dashboard the dashboard sorts of sort of envelops you all around the controls are well laid out you get a nice 10 inch display here you get a digital instrument cluster the displays are crisp uh, uh, the interface is nice, it's well designed, it works well. Most of the controls other than this switch panel here and the switch panel for the seat controls are touch uh, controls, which is uh, not, not that good a thing. I would have preferred physical controls for the air conditioning and stuff, but it works quite well. Also, like I said earlier, it's very spacious and Hyundai has also given it a lot of equipment upgrade. So you get a panoramic sunroof, uh, you get heated seats, ventilated seats, climate control, airbags, lots of safety systems, lots of ADAS systems. So you get automatic collision mitigation, you get lane keep assist. So it's filled with options. It's filled with standard equipment as you'd expect from a Hyundai. And I have to say, even the quality levels feel far superior to the old Tucson. The way the doors close, the way the surfaces are, the way the whole thing feels, even the steering wheel, it feels really premium and I think it's going to give the German SUVs in its segment a run for their money. Primarily also because I think it's better equipped than any of its rivals.
Once you sit in the rear seat of the Tucson, you can see that Hyundai has made a concerted effort to make it more attractive to customers who are usually chauffeured. So the driver's seat is set for my height for the driving position I like, and as you can see, there's a lot of room around me. And you, the the panoramic sunroof is so large; it really does give you a very good view. It opens up the cabin; it makes it feel more airy. And especially if you have great weather like we do in Bangalore today. It's a great addition to have. I'm not sure it's a great addition when we are burning or roasting in the Delhi heat, but well, at least we can enjoy it in this weather. Uh, the seat is quite comfortable. Uh, also, for the passenger sitting on the left side, you get dedicated controls that allow you to move the front seat without having to deal with the seat controls on the side. So obviously, it's catering more towards the passenger who's sitting here. The chauffeur driving, you get. USB port you get rear AC vents you also get an adjustable backrest on the rear seat so overall sitting inside with the big glass house with the panoramic sunroof with the space it really does give you a very premium experience but for me what's more important is how the two saw drives let's get into the driver seat and find out Of course the changes to the Tucson are not limited to visuals only it also gets mechanical changes the platform the stiffness the suspension the engines have been updated uh, and what we are driving today is the 2 liter diesel uh, there's also a petrol variant available but we're not driving that today both engines only come with automatic gearboxes the 2 liter diesel is paired to an 8 speed automatic unit uh, in the earlier Tucson I was already impressed with the 2 liter diesel this is an updated version and because primarily it produced 400 nm of torque which meant that everyday driving and especially highway driving was a breeze because that amount of torque really makes driving easier and the new engine produces even more torque it's in the range of 420 nm it's got about 180 plus horsepower so the pace is quick the gearbox also works well and the diesel also comes with all wheel drive now uh, something different on the new Tucson compared to the old one Uh, the older one didn't have any drive modes, so you get both drive and terrain modes. You can put it into eco or normal or sport. You can even put it into terrain modes, which are snow, mud, and sand. Uh, and of course, one of the benefits of having a digital instrument cluster is when you change mode, when you go from uh, normal to eco or normal to sport, your display also changes. Like I'm driving in sport right now, and it's got this really nice carbon fiber and red feel to it. Uh, really sporty looking the uh, regular mode in normal is also very uh, sharp looking and i have to say the instrument cluster the quality the resolution of both the screens is absolutely fantastic they work very well and even though uh, you know you can get direct sunlight onto the main multimedia screen via the sunroof or otherwise uh, there's no reflection issues it's the resolution holds up and it looks really good Uh, I complained slightly earlier about the all almost all uh, controls being touch and I'm still not a fan but I think that's how the industry is going and the Tucson is going to be no different. Uh, one major update compared to the older Tucson has been the suspension. The older Tucson was let's say slightly soft. It was slightly valley on on bumpy highways it would you know sort of bounce a little bit and that was something that was slightly annoying for me. The new Tucson features revised suspension which is very close to what you would expect out of a German car for instance. It's stiff, it's really well tied down, high speeds, you can sit at three digit speeds all day, there'll be no problem. It deals with bumps very well to the extent that I would think it it is on the slightly stiffer side of things, just the way I would like it to be. The diesel engine of course with the power, with the torque really makes life easier and the efficiency is pretty good too i'm getting almost double digit fuel efficiency numbers which is very good for a driver like me uh, there are a couple things that i do not like about the two so one these whitish gray interiors they're going to be get dirty very early and they're going to be a real sort of uh, chore to keep clean so that's something you'll have to worry about a little bit two you don't get paddle shifters that's something i would like yes the 8 speed gearbox is very good functions very well especially in sport mode it works very very well but sometimes you want that manual control so i would have liked at least 
on a car of the two source price to have paddle shifters. Third, uh, there is Apple CarPlay, there is Android Auto, but at this price, I would expect it to be wireless and it's wired only. So that's one feature missing. It doesn't have wireless CarPlay. And lastly, I think dynamically, the only issue I really have with the Tucson is that the steering is still not as good as it could be. Even on the last Tucson, the steering was uh, slightly dead. Uh, it didn't have much feel. This one is far better compared to the older car, but it still is, you know, it's, it doesn't give you much communication of what's happening with the road. And I think it gets exaggerated when you drive it in like sport mode, like I'm doing right now. The steering gets too heavy. It's almost, I mean, you almost start wondering why it has to be this heavy. So, in a nutshell, I think the Tucson offers a phenomenal package. Uh, it's available in diesel, in petrol. It has great amount of room inside the car. It's very practical. The size is still usable. You can take it in any of our urban centers, any of our cities, and parking will not be an issue. Ground clearance helps. The new suspension is fantastic. The new interior is brilliant. Uh, two things. Yes, the steering is not as good. So, that's something that's a bit of a shortcoming. And lastly, we still don't know the pricing. I expect it to be priced around the 30 lakh rupee mark. But at that price, it's moving into a segment where there's virtually no competition. And the Tucson itself offers a fantastic package. So if you're looking for an SUV around that price bracket, if you're looking for space, if you're looking for comfort, if you're looking for a car that's fully packed with features, whether it comes to safety, powerful engines, or a Bose sound system, or a huge panoramic sunroof, the Tucson will offer a very, very competitive package and I think its competitors like the Volkswagen Tiguan, for instance, do have something to worry about with the new Tucson.